Okay, so in this video, we are going, going to demonstrate goniometry and manual muscle testing for hip abduction and adduction. So both AB and adduction happen in the frontal plane. The end feel is firm for both. Normal value for abduction is 40 and adduction is 20. My pages are all wacky. Um, the patient position is supine and I'm gonna stand on a footstool next to the patient so that I can look down and read my goniometer by looking straight down at it and seeing all the bony landmarks. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna palpate ASISs because those are used to line up the goniometer. All right, so you know those two hip bones that stick out in the front here? I need to touch those in order to line up my tool and measure you, is that okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and measure, uh, palpate ASIS. So I'm gonna come in a little higher and I'm using my palms, my fingers are splayed out. I'm not being intimate or personal with my hand placement. So coming up, I'm on soft tissue. Now I'm hitting bone, so I wrap around to the front. Now I know like that's ASIS. So now I can start poking around with fingers because I know where I am. And it's okay for you to say, hey, can you do me a favor? Yep, put your mm -hmm. index fingers right where my thumbs are. And so she's gonna maintain for me where her ASISs are. I'm gonna measure her right leg because I'm on the right side. So my fulcrum is gonna go over directly over the right ASIS. And my station arm is going right over to the left ASIS. My, station, my moving arm starts here and when she abducts, it's going in this direction. And when she adducts, it's going in this direction. So there's a red zero. I will probably read the red numbers. Okay, so now I'm gonna give her cues. Keep your fingers there. I'm gonna have you roll this leg up. And I want you to keep the kneecap and the toes pointed up to the ceiling while you um, slide this leg out toward me as far as you can without rolling that leg out to the side. Okay, let's see what you've got. See what you can do. Good. All right, so uh, fulcrum over this ASIS, station arm to the contralateral ASIS, and then this comes down the midline of the anterior femur using the center of the patella as my mark. Good, come on back up. So that's 20 degrees of abduction. The other thing I wanna point out, I don't want you to press this tool against the body. We don't wanna press a tool against this area nor do I want the back of your hand to be so close that it's grazing this area of the body. So I want you to be, uh, nor do I want you to be up here. This is way too far. So your accuracy is going to go down greatly. I want you to be close so you've got good accuracy, but not so close that anything is touching your patient. All right, so we did, what, 20 degrees of abduction. Okay, now we're gonna do, do adduction. So what I could do you can let go. I'm gonna have you scooch all the way to this side of the table. Okay, that way I can kind of move this leg out of the way. I don't want it off the table because I don't want your pelvis to start to rotate. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch those bones again, okay? All right, good. Now I'm gonna have you put your fingers right there. And this time you are going to, again, keep your kneecap and your toes pointed up to the ceiling and you're gonna slide this right leg in toward the left one as far as it'll go. And everything in terms of the goniometer is lined up the exact same way. Fulcrum over the ASIS of the test leg, stationary arm to the contralateral ASIS, and moving arm, anterior midline of the femur using the center of the patella as your mark. Good, take a little break. And 20 degrees of adduction as well. All right, so now we're going to do MMT. We measured this leg. Okay, so let's start with abduction. So I'm gonna have you roll over onto your left side. Here, let me make this more comfortable for you. And I'm gonna have you, it's okay to have the patient scoot around on the bed. So I'm gonna have you actually come back closer to me because you don't wanna be leaning over the bed, over the table too much. I want you to bring your shoulders back, bring your trunk back here a little bit, good. Okay, so abduction. Testing the right leg, so she's in left sideline. She can leave that bottom leg bent because it will probably help her to feel more stable, like she's not gonna roll over. Um, and I kind of have my body against her so that she feels more confident that she's not gonna roll over the backside of this table. So I'm gonna have you straighten this leg out. Good, and what we want is we wanna see a straight line. 
So if someone is in hip flexion, I would bring their leg back. I would make them make sure they're in neutral. And I'm just gonna uh, provide my stabilization here. And I would say, I want you to bring this leg up to the ceiling as high as it'll go. And stabilization is on the ipsilateral iliac crest. I'm gonna try to push you down. Don't let me do it. Stay strong. I am proximal to the knee. Stay strong. The distal femur, stay strong, stay strong. Good, so that's the four five. Um, let's go into gravity eliminated. So I'm gonna have you roll over onto your back. Good. Sorry, I'm trying to make this comfortable for you. Okay, and then I would support the leg proximal to the knee, proximal to the ankle, and I would say, can you just um, roll this out, not roll, slide it out to the side for me, please. She's doing all that work. So full abduction gravity eliminated. I should have said this on your side. If she went through her full range, that's a three. If through, she went through more than half, but not all of it, three minus, some of it, not even half, two plus. Rolled her over into a gravity eliminated position. She just did her full range, that's a two. Um, if she was able to do more than half, but not all of it, two minus, some of it, not even half, one plus. And now if we have to palpate, we're gonna palpate uh, gluteus medius proximal to the greater trochanter. So between greater trochanter and iliac crest. So right here, and I would say, can you, can you bring this leg out to the side? And if she can't do it, but I can feel some muscle activation under my hand, she would earn a one. And if not, she would earn a zero. Now we're gonna do MMT for adduction. So now you have to roll over onto your right side. And if you wouldn't mind, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fold it the way that, so that this is the part that did not hit the floor. Okay. Um, we'll talk about the various methods Okay, I'm gonna come behind you. Okay, so in order to test MMT of hip adduction, are you, I wonder if you're gonna be able to get into the position of the first one that I don't like. We'll find out. Well, that's fine. Yep. We need to get this top leg out of the way so that the right one can adduct against gravity. So there are three different methods that can be used to get this leg out of the way. The first one is placing the bottom of your foot up here on the table. Oh, you have a lot of range of motion. First of all, not everyone can get into this position, but I, I would not use this position because when she adducts, she's gonna push really hard with this foot to help her, so we don't want that. So come on out of that position. The second thing we could do is give her some pillows and have her rest her knee up there. That gets the leg out of the way. She will still push with this knee in, into, the, into the pillows but not nearly as much as with the foot. So this is an acceptable method. Um, and then I'll show the third method. All right, come on back down. I'm just gonna move these pillows out of the way. The third method is for the clinician to hold up that leg. So I'm going to, so left leg, left hand, supports under the knee and down near the ankle. And I'm gonna hold this leg up. Good, I want you really on your side, there you go and straighten this leg out for me. Good, and bring it back a little bit because it's a little bit, it was in a little bit of hip flexion. All right, so now I'm gonna have you bring this right leg up toward me and stay strong, don't let me push you down. Stay strong, stay strong. Here's her four and her five, good. Take a little break. <laughs> okay, roll over onto your back. So that was the three, four, and five, the against gravity. Okay, and we're still on the right leg. So we can move this one out of the way a little bit and I'm gonna support this leg because now we're going into gravity eliminated and I would just say, can you bring this leg in toward the other one? So if she can do that, that's her two. Of course, two minus or one plus, depending on if she does partial. And then if, in terms of differentiating between a one and a zero, we're not gonna palpate that on each other, but it would be the hip adductors proximally. So right up in this area. So you can feel that on yourself, easy to feel those tendons popping. And that's it.